These shipping containers in a formation um, that will have accommodation, training, counselling rooms um, and eating or canteen facilities within the shacks and shanty towns. And when we do that, it affords the opportunity for that particular community to bring all the AIDS orphans out of the shacks and get them processed. Um, we have a process of screening, of social work, uh, psychological counselling, bereavement counselling, transitional education, early childhood development education. We then go through the whole process with these children and then take them from there and put them into permanent residential care um, in a fa loving family environment. There are lots of different forms that we of uh, types of accommodation we are building currently for our age orphans. We have the traditional uh, village setup where we have um, numerous amounts of houses on a large piece of land um, with multi-purpose centres, clinics, sports facilities, multi um, all the different aspects um, of the community uh, for those children. Then we have social housing, which is um, every we, are, we have a huge housing housing um, problem in, in, in Cape Town in South Africa. And as we're building houses for people, a portion of that houses are being set apart and set aside. Um, for special needs such as age orphans within the community so that they don't become separated from the community and that they don't uh, be taken out of the community into a separate little location. So what we're doing is we're giving ownership of various amounts of houses to different organisations to have these children within their communities speaking their mother tongue in their own culture and developing them and helping them to grow as normal children. Um, we've got extensive programs in terms of um, the needs for um, hospices um, because a lot of them are infected by HIV AIDS uh, and therefore also ARV treatments and clinics. We also have a lot of um, different programs in terms of um, adoption agencies and networks of care within the community. So that in a nutshell is our AIDS Orphans project and we have a lot of different relationships with a lot of different best practice models from around the world and within the city of Cape Town. Thanks, Dad. Come on, guys, the movie's starting. Hey, wait for me. The City of Cape Town Substance Abuse Project um, really addresses the, the vast array of problems that we have in terms of um, alcohol abuse, um, drugs and various other types of, of substances. Um, we've had a tremendous increase of usage amongst our youth of methamphetamines. 
um, or tick as it is locally known. Um, we've gone from a situation where we have um, two to five percent of the population actually um, engaging in it to 78 percent of all users now being using tick. Um, what we are trying to do is move away from inpatient treatment, not completely, um, but we want to move away from where a situation where people or young people are taken into inpatient, inpatient treatment um, and they basically are, are, are in an artificial environment that doesn't allow them to face the struggles of, um, of addiction on a day-to-day -day basis within their familiar environment. So we believe in outpatient-based, evidence-based models such as the Matrix Institute, uh, Institute um, model in Los Angeles, which we now are bringing across to Cape Town and we are going to implement that model within, within Cape Town. Okay, the matrix model um, that the city of Cape Town is rolling out is a, a Los Angeles-based model um, and it deals with all the best practices from around the world in terms of rehabilitation from methamphetamine and other, and other drugs. Um, we are rolling out four to five uh, rehab centers on this model um, throughout Cape Town over the next two years and we'd like to do more but are hampered by our need for finances. Um, these treatment models include cognitive behavioral therapy, it includes motivational enhancement therapy, residential programs, a whole host of other issues. Um, and we are really asking for assistance from the international community for us to be able to make a huge impact, a huge difference on this. Um, because South Africa now is not only a big user, it's also being uh, upgraded to a manufacturer which is exporting to other markets including the US and Europe. So this is a problem that is not only uh, for Cape Town but it's for the world and we need assistance in terms of that. The third project that the city of Cape Town has embarked on is the project of street people and the diversion programs or to rehab centres. Um, we're working together with correctional services and the judicial um, system to make sure that those street people who are, are are basically infringing the law through through bylaw interventions etc that they are diverted from going to jail to forced rehab um, these are, are solutions that we've worked with and we've looked at uh, best practice models from all around the world and we really are looking at establishing a long-term program and a long-term solution to the problems that we have with street people um, the city of Cape Town is is doing all it can to help through addressing the, the, the most basic problem that they have, and that is addiction. Addiction to alcohol and addiction to narcotics. Before we can talk about skills development and job creation and reconciliation with their families, we need to deal with their basic problem. And the basic problem that they have is that of addiction. Um, and once we address the issue of addiction and we go through, um, because a lot of them get to the point in the addiction where they are psychologically scarred, we can also then go through that whole process of, of um, helping them um, psychologically, um, counselling them and then reuniting them with their families. So we have a lot of work that we have done and a lot of work that we are going to do in the city of Cape Town pertaining to street people and diversion programs, um, substance abuse and AIDS orphans. Um, and my hope is that uh, you will partner with us and afford us opportunity to do a full presentation to you on all three of these projects because um, unfortunately we don't have enough time to, to put together the full presentation with visuals mm -hmm but we would like to have the opportunity to do a full presentation for you. So we are open to any kind of communication, we are open to any kind of networking, to partnerships, and uh, basically to sit down and to take hands with people from all over the world.